Hello, fabulous Pisces. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2016, Love Focus. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This month, in the context of love, you are one of the lucky ones, thanks to Jupiter. It is Jupiter that is making you especially lucky, and it is the new moon, speaking with Jupiter and speaking with Pluto, that is amplifying the love and amplifying the impact that love can have in your life. Jupiter mid-month will stand still in the sky and change gears, will go direct. Whenever Jupiter stands still or any planet stands still and prepares to change directions, it is at its most potent and powerful. It is in a position of power and dominance. And this is Jupiter after all. Whatever Jupiter does is like 10 times more impactful, uh, 10 times more hopeful, 10 times more optimistic and reasons to be optimistic than other planets. So we've got Jupiter standing still, speaking with this new moon. I look at this, it says to me that new opportunities, new conversations could be had that are game changers in the realm of love. If you are in an established bond, this could be a proposal, this could be an agreement this could be a key conversation that is the game changer that solidifies the importance of this bond to both of you. If you are open to meeting someone new, this is a sky that could very well bring that person. Mercury is retro, yes. So what that means is all conversations may not be completely clear unless they are re-conversations. <laughs> so if this is a conversation you've had before, that's where you've got lots of cosmic support to reach a decision with mercury retro especially where it is retro in your sky what you're saying the words you're saying the what you're trying to communicate the intention behind them may not necessarily be understood the way that you intend it but for all that i mean when you've got this much cosmic support and really as Jupiter's changing direction is kicking off with this energy that will only continue into next month, that will continue throughout the summer. It does suggest that key moments, conversations, connections that take place now will be part of the greater and greater successes in love that find you in the weeks and months to come. So any meetings that happen now, take them seriously, even if they feel like they're going slow, even if it feels like you're like, what does that text mean? What is he trying to say with that? <laughs> even if you're doing that, that's okay. Take it one moment at a time, the clarity will come, but absolute progress can be had. At the very least, your whole approach to relationships could change now due to some key conversations that take place. So a really good time to have a heart to heart with someone that you trust about where you've been in love, where you are in love and where it is that you truly desire to go so that you can understand and shift the energy that has been there into something that will allow you to welcome the type of love that you truly desire. What I love about this month for you is that Jupiter is on your side, supreme protection, supreme blessings in love on your side with strength and support and a, a measure of transformative energy as well, which means that you will have the ability to transform your circumstances to ensure that you are living in accordance with maximum love and moving towards even greater love than you've known before. Visit Amazon.com to learn about my book, Astrology Realized in English and Spanish, and shop my website, NadiaShaw.com, for exclusive The Universe is Wise and Loving merchandise and my signature jewelry line, Astro Fabulous Jewelry. Enjoy.